Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an error that says this device cannot use a trusted platform module when you're trying to use BitLocker on Windows 10. So hopefully this tutorial will be able to address your problem without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just off on the Start button one time. Type in Local Group Policy. And if you're on Windows 7, Windows 8, or any version of Windows 10 except for Windows 10 Home Edition, you should see an option here that says Edit Group Policy. You want to left click on that one time. Now I'm going to expand the window a little bit here so you can see where I'm going better. And you want to minimize the user configuration folder, so you just want to collapse it. So if there's a little error next to user configuration, you want to left click to bring it back up. And now looking underneath computer configuration, you want to expand the administrative templates folder. So left click on that one time. Either double click on the administrative templates folder or left click on the little arrow once and then you expand the Windows Components folder the same way. You Now you want to look for BitLocker Drive Encryption. Expand that one as well. And now there should be something that says Operating System Drives. Left click on that one time. And now if we direct our attention over to the right panel here, you want to locate something that says Require Additional Authentication at Startup. Right here, should be near the top. Either double click on it or left click on the little area, the hyperlink where it says edit policy setting, you can click on that too. It'll get us to the same screen that we want to access here. You want to set this to enabled and then where it says allow bit locker without a compatible TPM, you want to check mark that as well. Left click on apply and OK. Once you're done with that, you should be able to be good to go. Close out of here, restart your device, and that should hopefully be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.